गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज हर्षाल टीचर फ्रॉम सेंट थॉमस बेथनी कॉन्वेंट स्कूल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट समबडीज मदर्स फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीच एंड द एप्रिसिएशन ऑफ दिस पोएम सो इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न वॉट इज द पोएम अबाउट एंड विच मैसेज दिस पोएम इज कन्वेज टू अस नाउ वील सी द वेरियस फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीच यूज इन द पोएम सो फर्स्ट इज the woman was old and ragged and grey so here it is a repetition the word uh, and is repeated for poetic effect then tautology so we have already run what is tautology the same word sorry a uh, same meaning but a different word old and grey have a similar meaning then the next figures of speech is the street were white with a recent snow so this is the alliteration the initial sound of w is repeated in the words where white with for better poetic effects then and the women's feet with age were slow it is a inversion the word are not arranged in the correct prose order and the correct order is and the women's feet were slow with the age at the crowded crossing she waited long it is a alliteration the initial sound of cr is repeated in the words crowded and crossing for better poetic effect then unheeding the glance of her anxious eye it is a transfer epithet the epithet anxious it transferred from the old woman to her eyes then next is come happy boys like a fork of a sheep so simile is here the boys are directly compared to a flock of a sheep then past the woman so old and grey it is a tautology again the word old and grey expresses similar idea of old the age then none of none offered a helping hand to her it is a alliteration the initial sound of h is repeated in the words helping and hand for the better poetic effects the next is her aged hand on a strong young arm she placed it is a inversion the words are not arranged in the correct prose order the correct order is she placed her aged hand on his strong young arm then again she placed and so without hurt or harm it is a alliteration the initial sound h is repeated in the words hurt and harm for better poetic effects the back again to his friend he went so it is a inversion the word are not arranged in the correct prose order the correct order is then he went back again to his friends he is young hurt happy and well contained so it is a synod of the hurt as a part is used to refer to the boy as whole so synodoc means a part of a body part or the part of a things is used to uh, refer the whole class or the whole body whole boy then transfer epithet the epithet happy is transfer from the boys to his hurt then she somebody's mother boys you know it is a inversion the words are not arranged in the correct cross order and the correct order is you know boys she is somebody's mother and someone sometimes me lend a hand it is a repetition the word some is repeated for better poetic effects in her home that night and the prayer she said it is a inversion the words are not arranged in the correct cross order the correct order is and that night she said the prayer in her home in this way we have seen the figures of speech of the poem in this poem there are lot of figures of speech are used such as simile inversion repetition alliteration transfer epithet synodo so this all these figures of speech you have to remember and write it down in your notebook i'll provide you the pdf for it now we'll see the appreciation of the poem so 
the appreciation of the poem basically you have to write i have told you that uh, the poem and the poet whom you have written the poem uh, poem then the central idea of the poem the figures of speech the rhyming scheme used in the poem the tone the theme of the poem and why you like the poem sometimes you have to write the favorite lines of the poems also then the poem somebody's mother is by mary do prime it describes an incident in which a young boy helps a frightened old lady to cross the street when she was being ignored by everyone else he tells his young friend that he hopes that when his own mother is old and needs help someone will help her too if he is not at hand then the rhyme scheme of the poem is a a b b c c d d e e f f a a g g h h i i b b j j c c k k b b l l a a m m n n so like this uh, rhyming scheme is used in the poem now next is my favorite lines are and so without hurt or harm he guided the trembling feet along then the figures of speech uh, is inversion at the crowded crossing she waited along the correct prose order is she waited along at the crowded crossing then the poem is written very simple and help us to get a mental picture of entire incident it reminds us of the saying do unto others what you would have them to do unto you means unto means what so whatever you will do it will again come back to you life is a boomerang it will come back to you whatever you give everything want to come back to you it shows the compassion of young boy in a world too busy to care for others it gives the reader a warm feeling in heart and i like this poem because of the compassion shown by the young boy and because of its inner meaning that we must help others so in this way we have seen the figures of speech of the poem and the appreciation of the poem and in the previous session we have already learned the meaning and the message is conveyed by the poem so already i have told that the poem poem is full uh, you there are figure, so many figures of speech are used for better poetic effects and i think i we have discussed all the figures of speech in the poem uh, used so one by one you have to write it down in your notebook even the appreciation of the poem also you have to write it down in your notebook i'll provide the pdf for writing the notes i think all of you have understood the various figures of speech used in the poem and the appreciation of the poem also so thank you and take care stay home stay safe